Okay, so uh, what I want to address here before I show you the value of the Muay Thai uh, long guard is some of the discrepancies that I've seen on YouTube where there's this, uh, there's this thing where uh, one guy is saying you have the Dutch guard like this, right? And then you have the Muay Thai guard or the long guard and it's like this. Uh, that's disingenuous. This is not the Dutch guard. Okay, so if you get to this video, you can tell them. This is not a Dutch guard. Dutch kickboxing, the hands are Western boxing. What this is is a boxing position. That's what it is. To call it a Dutch guard is going to confuse people. All right, no. You have boxing, okay, and you have the Muay Thai guard. So I'm going to show you uh, what the purpose is of this um, Muay Thai uh, long guard because I don't think even Muay Thai instructors, um, even native Muay Thai instructors go into it enough. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna start with Dave. All right, so what we have is we have this long position here, all right? You're gonna stay right where you are, okay? So we have this long position. So what is it for? Okay, uh, step over here, uh, right, right here, okay. What this is, this is a range finder, it's a range finder, and it's to maintain your range, okay? To find your distance and maintain your distance. That's what that's for, okay? So, if I'm here, then I know I'm in leg kicking range, okay? If the hand is here. If I can reach here, okay, then I can clinch. It might be an elbow. Okay? But it's a range. This is for the range. If I'm out here, bang. If I'm here, bang. It's for range. All right? That's what this, the, the first function of the front arm is for, to gauge your range. Okay? Another reason for that is easy entry into the clinch. So if my hand is out here and I defend with my rear hand, it gives me an easy entry into the clinch. So if, if Dave throws a punch with this hand, then I can easily come into the clinch. Okay? He throws a punch again, I can easily come into the clinch. All right? That's what this hand is for. So again, what is it for? It's a range to gauge your range. If I'm here, I can kick. I can kick. Okay? I can kick. That's what the front hand is for. It's also for easy entry into the clinch. So even from here, if I can put my hands here, then of course, I can knee. Okay? Of course, I can come up and elbow. That's the main reason for that front hand. Okay? Now, why are your hands open this way? Rev, come in. Why are your hands open like this? Your hands are open again so you can stop. It's the ability to stop. So if he comes forward and he doesn't punch, go come forward, I can stop. I can stop an elbow. I can stop in leg kick. I can stop in knee. It's to stop, okay? Another reason for it is to deal with elbows. So what is the best defense for dealing with the elbow? If he throws an elbow horizontally, what is the best defense? It's go. Is to block it in this way. So my hands being up in this posture allows me to deal with the elbows. So if you throw one and throw another one, throw, throw with the other hand, okay? That's what it's for. So throw again, one, two, I can easily come into the clinch. All of that comes off of having your hands in and already a posture where you can deal with the elbows, okay? So this is short. We're just going to go over it one more time, but it doesn't have to be long. People really show you the Muay Thai position, but don't show you what it's for. So once again, this long arm out here is to gauge first your distance, at a distance. If I'm moving around with Rev and I'm here, right, I know I'm in leg kicking distance. If he comes in and throws a couple punches, I now know that I am into... Uh, clinching distance. Here, here, my legs are longer than my arms, obviously kicking distance. 
obviously kicking distance. My arms are touching him, then obviously elbow, clinch, okay, obviously, all right, turn, bang, okay, so from here, my hand is out, from here, legs, 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 okay, obviously from here, if you move back, then I come in, okay, so your hands are out, one, Distance, determining the distance, keeping the individual also at distance. He throws a couple punches. I can put my hand, throw a couple punches. I can put my hands out, keep him at a distance. Keep him at a distance, come in. Go again, keep him at a distance, come in. Okay? Elbows in, thanks, thanks man. Uh, Dave, come in. Again, the hands are up for why? Dealing with the elbows. Elbow comes in, here, elbow comes in. The other elbow too, okay? You can catch it up here, go. I can catch it here, one. Or I can catch it on the glove, okay? Last thing, classic Muay Thai defense. <clears throat> Another reason why your hands are out is for the classic Muay Thai defense. So you might see people defending in a certain way. Classic Muay Thai defends differently than Dutch kickboxing. So what we wanna do here Chin comes down, classic Muay Thai defense. He throws a punch, go. Throw two good punches. Classic Muay Thai. Go again. Okay, what I'm doing is when he throws, this hand comes up. No, you keep your hand in. This hand comes up, this hand comes across. My chin goes down and I'm here. This allows me, go one, two, slow. This allows me to one, okay, go again, one, two, it allows me, okay, so show you quickly again, classic Muay Thai defense is, go again, go, throw two real punches, okay, there's a classic defense, out, cross, put your chin down. If your hand is out, it again allows you to counter with the leg kick. Again, it allows you to counter with the leg kick. It also allows you to come in with an elbow, allows you to clinch. Run it back again, this is what we'll do. Front hand, range finder. I'm here at the arm kick. Okay, if I'm in close, elbow, clinch. Okay, it also helps me to block elbows. Okay, he throws, you're catching them. Okay, remember that. All right, what was the other one? Okay, defense. This hand is out. Understand, this is classic Muay Thai. This is not Dutch. Classic Muay Thai, one of the best defenses is to have your hand out, cross the back hand over the front, and tuck your chin. I'm looking at you right from here. Okay, I'm looking at you right from here. It looks awkward, but it's classic Muay Thai. It comes from having your hand up, throw two punches, and here, or any three punches. Go, and I'm here. Bang, bang, okay? Here is one, here is another, okay? Here is another, and here is a very popular one. Again, what is this for? Distance, he throws a punch, go. This is for distance. He wants to throw the rear hand, but I caught this one first, and I'm in his face. This is for distance. And where am I? I can either come in, but from here, I will step and kick. Okay, so there you go. This is not the Dutch guard. This is Western boxing guard that Dutch kickboxing uses. This is a classic Muay Thai guard. The front hand is basically a range finder, ability to maintain the range, it's also a way to, you have that hand, it's the beginning of easy entry into the clinch. Your hands are up with the palms in this way because the best way to deal with the elbows, which a good Muay Thai fighter will use, uh, is you basically catch it with, uh, with the palms of your hands. All right, so I thank Dave, thank Rev. There you go, we'll see you in a couple weeks with some more physical tutorials, but as usual, you'll see me with some, uh, some lectures in the near future. See you next video.